Sydney Dennis, 5'5", redshirt sophomore out of Clarence, Iowa. There's a set and a spike and a nice block by Caitlin Butner. South Dakota State maintains possession. Nice diving play by Sydney Dennis to save it in the Hawks. We'll get it over across of the, the net. Here's a spike. Nice diving left-handed dig for the Hawks by Michelle Urquhart. Back and forth we go. It's Butner. Here's a set and a spike. And serving for South Dakota State, Stella Winterfield. Stella out of Sioux Center, Iowa. Nice. With a point on this serve. Darling. Here's a set for Moravec. Boy, she's set like that. She is hard to defend. Transfer from Brigham Young University, just a sophomore, but she's from Western, or excuse me, Weston, Connecticut. So she's kind of halfway on her way home. Hopefully she sticks around to Iowa City for the next couple of years. South Dakota State is uh, two hours north of Sioux Falls in Brookings. There's the set, the running spike, and a nice game-ending spike by Gabby Deary, the freshman out of Burlington on a beautiful set, and the Hawks will win game one. That back row, five to three, the lead for the Hawks. Serving for South Dakota State, Stella Winterfield. Nice play out there by Gabby Deary with Sylvie Zgantz. 5'11 freshman. Here's the set. Butner has her spike blocked. Here's the second set to her and the spike. That one gets over. Here's South Dakota State setting up Van Egnum on the other side. And trying a little touch shot is Elsie Winter, but blocked down. 19 16, the lead for the Hawks. Here's the serve. Here is a nice set and a spike by Moravec. Handled well by South Dakota State. Another set spike by Moravec. Elsie Winter with the good dig. South Dakota State gets it over the net in the Iowa side. Here's Moravec. Not quite the hard spike. She's just trying to tap it over South Dakota State players. Back and forth we go. Good, good volley. Nice play. Here's the service from Mateo. Nice serve dug by South Dakota State. Can't seem to get much control, but here's a set for McSweeney. Nice dig out there by Stella Winterfield. Iowa playing it again. Here's McSweeney this time right in front of her. And serving for South Dakota State's Reagan Riley. Here's the set and the spike by Moravec. Hawks playing it, here's the set to McSweeney. She couldn't get enough leverage on it to spike it, so she just taps it over. Here's the block by McSweeney on the spike by Katie Van Egdom. Delaney McSweeney is out for the Hawks. Butner, Deary, and uh, Maddie Hansen in the front row for the Hawks. Here's a spike that's blocked by Hansen and Butner. Here's another block for Hansen. South Dakota State plays it to the back of the Hawks. And a nice little dump shot. Oh, they're going to say that she was able to get a South Dakota State. Hansen put it right between all those players. Here's Butner. Spike is uh, the fifth game. It was Middle Tennessee shutting out Kent State. Three sets to none. And here's a little dip. And it's Stella Winterfeld for South Dakota State. Hustling to save it, and now getting it back over the net is Moravec. Here's the spike. Nice set and a spike. I believe that was uh, Sylvie Zgantz. Here's the serve just over the top of the net. Nice serve. Here's a, a set back. Nice dive by Sydney Dennis to make the set. Here is the play. And nice spike by Caitlin Butner. South Dakota State. I should mention as well, Sydney Shetnan, uh, also a player to watch in the Summit League, and there's no question she is a fine volleyball player. Here they play at the net, and right at the net, Caitlin Butner beats Shetnan. 
and it falls on the sideline, the side of South Dakota State, and a point for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Oh, <laughs>